Ever had that moment where you realized no one ever taught you anything about managing your finances? Today we are going to share 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you. We know how frustrating it can get when you realize you have to manage everything from your budgeting to managing your mortgages all on your own. We all grow up from being a broke college student to being a concerned adult who has to worry about paying bills in the real world. All this while trying to balance our expenses and savings. If you are stuck and feeling overwhelmed in this journey, we have got you. We will share some effective lessons that can help you take charge of your future and help you manage your personal finances like a pro. Get ready as these lessons will help you get on top of your finances and gain financial security, so you are not ever in for a rude awakening if you land in financial trouble. By the end of this video, you will not only master these lessons, but also be empowered to make some sound financial decisions on your own. So without any further delay, let's dive deeper into the most valuable money lessons. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss any tip that could shape your financial life. All right, let's get started with the first of 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you, and that is, the world is designed to rob your money. Imagine walking into a dazzling shopping mall, the bright lights inviting you to explore its endless aisles. Just then, a friendly salesperson approaches you, offering you a deal too good to resist. You end up browsing through the latest gadgets. This scenario is well explained by a remarkable observation made by an economic professional who once said, I strongly believe that the world is designed to separate us from our money. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, this observation proves remarkably accurate as various influences strategically target our hard-earned cash. Consider the constant barrage of advertisements on social media, strategically targeting us based on our interests and recent discussions. These prompts create an environment where spending seems inevitable. So to counteract the pervasive pull of spending, you need to adopt the habit of saving first. Arrange for a portion of your paycheck to be automatically deposited into a savings account. This ensures that you prioritize your financial well-being before succumbing to impulsive expenditures. Let's say you earn $1,000 per paycheck. Allocate 20% directly to savings. This disciplined approach establishes a financial buffer. But if you are a serial spender and cannot fight your uncontrollable urge to spend money, protect your money by employing the Houdini system. Instead of stashing your savings in an easily accessible account, consider investing it or placing it in a less liquid form. With the Houdini system, your savings remain tucked away, safeguarded from the hands of impulse and ready to reappear when the time is right. So the lesson here is simple. The world will rob you of your money and make expenses irresistible. So take charge of your finances and cut your unnecessary expenditures. Now let's move to the next money lessons that no one ever taught you. That is, track where your money is going. We often hear people say, I have no idea where my paychecks go. And it's a sentiment that many can relate to. The fast-paced nature of life, coupled with the expenses that come with our desires, can leave us feeling bewildered just a week after payday, wondering where all our money disappeared. The key to avoiding this financial mystery is gaining clarity on your spending habits. If you want to figure out where your money's going, start by looking at your fixed expenses, the essential costs you must cover to sustain your lifestyle. This includes items like rent or mortgage, utilities, cell phone bills, insurance, and any other consistent monthly obligations. Identifying these fixed expenses will help you understand your financial obligations. Consider treating your financial well-being as a personal project. Regularly reviewing your budget, tracking expenses, and making adjustments based on your financial goals become integral parts of this ongoing project. So your lesson is to bear in mind that nobody else will care about your money as much as you do. You need to play an active role in tracking and managing your finances. That's how you empower yourself to make informed decisions about spending and saving. Moving on to our next lesson about money no one ever taught you, that is, diversify your income stream. We often hear people say, I'm not making enough money, or I don't get paid much. It's a common concern, and many folks feel they work hard for too little pay. The truth is, employers won't automatically pay you what you're worth. 
you have to ask for it. Picture this. You graduated from college with a degree in graphic design. You realize the demand for web design is high, so you take additional courses to specialize in it. By finding a profitable niche, you increase your value and income potential. Now you have a friend who is working as an IT specialist, but feels he lacks some marketable skills. So you suggest he enroll in an online coding boot camp to learn new programming languages. In this way, he will upgrade his skills and become more valuable to his employer, leading to a well-deserved raise. The lesson here is that there are various ways to increase your income, but it's up to you to take the initiative. Whether it's finding a profitable niche, upgrading your skills, taking on a part-time job, or exploring side hustles, each step requires your effort and determination. It might seem like a solo journey, but the potential for financial growth is within your reach. Remember, you're the CEO of your career, and it's your job to navigate the path to increased income independently. All right, now let's talk about investing in yourself, the next important lesson of 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want to enjoy more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. Picture this. I was considering buying a book, but she hesitated because she wasn't sure if it was worth the money, said your friend who casually spends $15 on drinks without a second thought. The truth is, spending money today can be an investment in a better tomorrow. Being frugal with yourself might hinder your progress in life. So, you need to develop the habit of investing in yourself, which is the key to personal growth. While formal education is valuable, there are numerous ways to invest in yourself beyond the traditional educational system. So how do you invest in yourself? Well, some of the best ways to invest in yourself are buying books, enrolling in new courses, attending workshops, webinars, or even taking on new responsibilities at work to constantly improve and stay relevant. So your lesson here is to develop the habit of investing in yourself. No one else will invest in you if you don't prioritize your growth. Take charge of your situation. Make informed decisions about where to allocate your resources and watch your investments pave the way for a brighter future. Now let's talk about the next money lesson that no one ever taught you. That is, keep your money for a rainy day. Life is unpredictable and unexpected challenges can throw off your financial plans when you least anticipate them. A single unforeseen expense has the potential to disrupt your financial goals if you're not prepared. Imagine suddenly facing a car repair, medical bill, or home repair that you hadn't planned for. Having savings allows you to navigate these unexpected turns without compromising on your financial stability. In the world of personal finance, this saved money is commonly known as an emergency fund, but feel free to give it your own name. The idea is simple. You need to set aside money for unexpected situations because a rainy day can sometimes stretch into a rainy year. Think of your emergency fund as a financial umbrella. Just as you keep an umbrella in your bag during uncertain weather, your emergency fund is your financial preparation for extended rainy seasons. The point is, you need to set aside money for unforeseen circumstances because a minor hiccup can sometimes turn into a prolonged financial challenge. Knowing you have an emergency fund provides peace of mind. It's a financial tool that empowers you to weather life's storms and ensures that a single unexpected expense doesn't derail your entire financial journey. Now let's move to the next money lesson that no one ever taught you. That is, ditching the concept of making easy money. We all start our journey into personal finance with encountering these get-rich-quick schemes. But before you get fooled or scammed, it's crucial to realize that there's no such thing as easy money, and true financial success requires effort and diligence. Imagine stumbling upon a guru proclaiming the secret to making thousands with minimal effort. The reality check is this. If it were genuinely that easy, wouldn't everyone be doing it? The skepticism arises naturally. Why would someone with a foolproof method for quick riches willingly share it with strangers? Let's consider the cautionary tale of a famous investor like Warren Buffett. Despite his tremendous success, he emphasizes the importance of avoiding schemes promising easy money. Buffett's story serves as a beacon of wisdom in the financial world, demonstrating that genuine wealth accumulation is a result of disciplined investing and long-term strategy. 
Buffett's success wasn't built on shortcuts or magical formulas. Instead, it came from a deep understanding of investments, a commitment to learning, and an unwavering focus on fundamental principles. His journey illustrates that the hunger for quick success through easy money is a distraction from the real path to financial well-being. As Robert Greene aptly notes, the hunger for magical shortcuts and simple formulas for success has been a constant throughout history. But in the end, all of this searching is centered on something that doesn't exist. Buffett's story, among others, reinforces the idea that financial success is a product of effort, knowledge, and time. So the next time you encounter a tempting shortcut or an easy money scheme, remember Buffett's journey and the wisdom shared by financial experts. Embrace the reality that there's no substitute for hard work and informed decision-making when it comes to achieving lasting financial prosperity. Now let's talk about thinking in the long term, a saying that sounds cliché, but it applies a lot differently when it comes to managing your finances. When the money starts flowing, the allure of indulging in trendy luxuries and upscale dining can be tempting. The instant gratification is undeniable, and upgrading your lifestyle seems like a fun prospect. But it is crucial to shift your focus from short-term enjoyment to long-term financial wisdom. Rather than splurging on fleeting pleasures, redirect your money toward long-term investments. Instead of a pricey meal, think about how that money could grow over time if invested wisely. Every dollar spent has the potential for long-term impact. Instead of focusing on short-lived experiences, consider the lasting value your money can bring. Assess where you can put that money to work for your future financial goals. Be cautious about spending merely to impress or keep up with others. Purchases made for external validation often provide momentary satisfaction, but may not contribute significantly to your long-term financial well-being. Remember, the pursuit of keeping up with others is a fleeting endeavor. What matters more is building a solid foundation for your financial future. Rather than succumbing to short-term trends, make thoughtful spending choices that align with your long-term goals. It's not about denying yourself enjoyment, but about prioritizing enduring financial security over temporary pleasures. Now let's move to our next important lesson about money that no one ever taught you, that is, nothing is free. Do you get excited when you hear about getting freebies? You are not alone in that. We all do, but here's an important money lesson hidden in our behavior. That is, nothing is free. Whether it's a product, service, or opportunity, there may be unforeseen expenses, obligations, or trade-offs involved. Imagine you see a seemingly free mobile app that offers captivating games. You download it excitedly, but soon realize that to progress, you need to make in-app purchases or watch numerous ads. While the app claims to be free, your time, attention, or money become the actual costs. In the world of free, there's often a hidden price tag attached. Therefore, it is important to approach offers with a critical mindset, considering potential hidden costs before committing. Even seemingly free opportunities often require an investment of time. Time is a valuable resource and dedicating it to something that appears costless may have indirect consequences on other aspects of your life. Consider the long-term impact, potential benefits, and whether the perceived value aligns with your personal or financial objectives. Evaluate the true value of free opportunities, looking beyond immediate benefits to assess their overall impact. When you stay vigilant against hidden expenses, time commitments, trade-offs, and ensure a thorough assessment of true value you can navigate the world of seemingly costless offerings while safeguarding both your financial well-being and overall happiness. Now let's talk about the next of 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you. That is, strive for financial synergy. The idea of financial synergy comes into play when the combination of two or more financial elements or entities creates a more favorable outcome than the sum of their individual parts. It finds a beautiful example in marriage. When two individuals commit to each other, there's a profound shift, creating a connection that goes beyond the sum of their individual selves. This synergy in relationships often brings unexpected and positive surprises. Synergy requires the right components working together seamlessly. In your financial journey, these components might include strategic budgeting, smart investments, and collaborative efforts with others who share similar financial goals. 
picture two companies merging in a strategic alliance. Individually, they might face challenges, but when combined, their strengths complement each other, creating financial synergy. Like puzzle pieces fitting seamlessly, the merged companies enhance their overall value, efficiency, and profitability. The collaborative power outweighs what each could achieve independently, showcasing the concept of financial synergy. So the key is to embrace the idea that financial synergy is an evolving process and continuously seek ways to optimize your financial components for maximum impact. All right, now let's talk about the next money lesson that is, don't sell your time for less. If you think your time costs nothing, you are quite wrong. While time is a finite resource, how you choose to allocate it directly affects your financial well-being and overall satisfaction. Each hour of your day represents an opportunity to invest in activities that align with your goals, values, and happiness. Evaluate how your time is spent and ensure it aligns with your priorities and values, so it is crucial to acknowledge the inherent value of your time, considering it as a precious asset. This extends beyond monetary compensation and includes personal fulfillment, growth, and overall well-being. Selling your time for less can have a direct impact on your financial health. The lesson encourages prioritizing fair compensation for your time to ensure that your efforts contribute to your financial stability and long-term goals. Understanding the value of your time reinforces the importance of achieving a balance between work and personal life. Striking this balance contributes to overall happiness and prevents burnout from overcommitting to activities that undervalue your time. Now let's talk about our next lesson. That is, income is not your wealth. Many people have this misconception about wealth. They often think their income is their wealth. This is far from true. Wealth isn't solely determined by the size of your paycheck. It's about how much you save and invest. Surprisingly, you can be wealthier than someone earning a higher income simply by focusing on asset creation and making strategic financial choices. It's essential to differentiate between income and wealth. Let's consider the example of our imaginary characters, Sarah and Lauren. Sarah had a modest income of $50,000 per year and was still wealthier than Lauren, who earned $200 annually. The key lies in how much you save and invest rather than the size of your paycheck. Spending your entire income on your current lifestyle, regardless of its extravagance, won't lead to wealth. It's crucial to balance current comforts with the strategic allocation of funds for future financial security. The true measure of wealth is not just how much you make, but how much you save and invest. Those who prioritize saving and investing tend to accumulate more significant wealth over time. Your income is a tool, but wealth is a result of how you manage that tool. By prioritizing asset creation over excessive spending, you can build substantial wealth, regardless of your income level. It's not about what you earn, it's about what you save and invest for a financially secure future. Now let's talk about the next of 17 lessons that no one ever taught you, that is, having fun while budgeting. Living your life to the fullest while on a budget is the ultimate balancing act. It's all about finding the sweet spot between embracing the YOLO spirit and being financially responsible for your future. Instead of revolving your life solely around work, discover hobbies that bring you joy without breaking the bank. Whether it's painting, hiking, or playing an instrument, Affordable hobbies provide something to look forward to without draining your wallet. You don't need to hit the town every weekend to have a good time. Embrace the idea of planning epic experiences, whether it's a weekend getaway, a camping trip, or exploring local hidden gems. These moments can be just as, if not more, fulfilling than frequent nights out. It's tempting to splurge when you first start going out, but understanding and respecting your budget is crucial. Treat yourself within your means and gradually adjust your lifestyle as your income increases. Finding the right balance between living in the moment and planning for the future is an ongoing challenge. By incorporating affordable hobbies, planning meaningful experiences, and staying mindful of your budget, you can have fun without jeopardizing your financial well-being. Remember, it's not about restricting yourself, but rather making intentional choices that align with both your present and future happiness. Now let's move to the next money lesson no one ever taught you, that is financial goal setting. A critical aspect of achieving financial success is setting achievable money goals. 
It is a driving force that keeps you engaged in financial planning and in a positive competition. It helps you compete with your own self and overcome any obstacles standing in the way of your financial aspirations. The journey towards financial success gains significant momentum when anchored by clear and achievable money goals. These goals serve as personal motivators, propelling you forward even when faced with challenges. If you love competition, consider your financial goals as a personal competition with yourself. Setting and achieving financial milestones allows you to constantly outdo your past achievements and overcome any barriers in your financial path. Imagine setting a goal to pay off your student's loan in five years from now on. This target will motivate you to make consistent extra payments and ultimately become debt-free ahead of schedule. So here's your lesson. Goals provide a roadmap to navigate through financial barriers. When faced with unexpected expenses or challenges, having a clear objective helps in making informed decisions that align with your long-term financial vision. Now let's move to the next of 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you. That is, cost and value are different. Consider the scenario of buying a high-quality, durable backpack for your travel. The cost of the backpack might be higher upfront compared to a budget-friendly option. In a strict financial sense, the budget-friendly backpack represents a lower monetary outlay. Now let's delve into the concept of value. The durable, high-quality backpack might come with additional features such as reinforced zippers, padded shoulder straps, and multiple compartments for organized packing. It is designed to withstand wear and tear, ensuring longevity. In this case, the value goes beyond the monetary cost. If you enjoy traveling frequently, the durable backpack provides utility and satisfaction each time you use it. It offers convenience, durability, and organization, enhancing your overall travel experience. Over time, the benefits of comfort, longevity, and functionality contribute significantly to the perceived worth of the backpack. While the upfront cost was higher, the value derived from the purchase in terms of satisfaction, utility, and long-term benefits surpasses the initial monetary outlay. This example illustrates how evaluating the value of a purchase involves considering factors beyond the upfront cost, emphasizing the importance of the true impact on happiness and satisfaction. Now let's break it into simple terms. Cost is the money you pay for a particular item or service. It's the price you pay to acquire something, whether it's a product, an experience, or a service. Value, on the other hand, goes beyond the monetary figure. It reflects the perceived worth, satisfaction, or utility derived from a particular expense. The true impact on happiness lies in the value gained, not just the upfront cost. So always evaluate the value a purchase adds to your life, considering factors such as enjoyment, utility, or long-term benefits. The emotional satisfaction gained from value often surpasses the temporary fulfillment of acquiring something at a specific cost. Focusing on value-driven spending contributes more significantly to overall happiness. So the key takeaway for you is, while money is spent on costs, the true impact on happiness lies in the value derived from those expenditures. So if you are mindful of the value associated with your spending and align it with your values, you can ensure that your financial choices contribute positively to your overall happiness. All right, now let's talk about how money doesn't buy you. Happiness is not entirely true, the next money lesson. The adage, money can't buy happiness, holds a nuanced truth. However, research studies like if money doesn't make you happy, then you probably aren't spending it right, and the work of Ryan Howell from San Francisco State University suggests that money indeed has the potential to buy happiness. But the key lies in how you spend it. A simple tip would be to consider allocating funds for experiences like travel, learning a new skill, or attending events. Money can buy a measure of control over the circumstances in which we live, aligning with the concept of financial freedom. Having control over your life and financial decisions contributes to overall happiness. Instead of expecting happiness from material possessions, invest your money in experiences. Creating memorable moments and engaging in activities can contribute significantly to your overall well-being. While money can't create more than 24 hours in a day, it can buy time in a different sense. 
Investing in services or products that save time, thereby freeing up personal time, can be a significant contributor to happiness. So how do you make sure that money buys you happiness? You can do it by prioritizing experiences, benefiting others, and working towards financial freedom to unlock the happiness potential of your finances. It is true that our relationship between money and happiness is complex. But when you understand that it's not about the amount of money but how you spend it, you can leverage your financial resources to enhance your overall financial success and happiness. Now let's talk about our next lesson about money no one ever taught you, that is, you need insurance. Imagine your family is enjoying a dream vacation they saved for years to afford. During their trip, a sudden medical emergency arises, leading to unexpected hospitalization and significant medical expenses. Insurance, in this scenario, acts as a safety net, preserving the family's well-being and allowing them to focus on recovery instead of worrying about the financial aftermath. While money can provide a sense of control, security, and the ability to buy experiences, insurance acts as a vital safeguard against unforeseen events that could otherwise jeopardize financial well-being. Insurance will serve as a protective shield against unexpected events that can lead to financial distress. Whether it's health insurance, life insurance, or property insurance, having coverage provides a safety net when the unexpected occurs. Prioritize insurance coverage that aligns with potential risks in your life, ensuring a safety net for unforeseen circumstances. Knowing that you have insurance coverage brings a sense of peace of mind. This assurance stems from the knowledge that you and your loved ones are financially protected in the face of health challenges, accidents, or other adverse situations. It is also crucial to regularly review and update your insurance policies to adapt to changing circumstances and ensure continued peace of mind. While money can buy you experiences, provide control, and contribute to happiness, insurance plays a pivotal role in preserving and enhancing that happiness. It acts as a safeguard against uncertainties, offering peace of mind, financial stability, and the ability to maintain one's lifestyle in the face of unexpected challenges. By recognizing the importance of insurance in your financial strategy, you can bolster your overall well-being and happiness. Now let's move to the next of 17 lessons about money no one ever taught you. That is planning your retirement today. Let's talk about retirement. Sounds like a future thing, right? But here's the deal. It's never too early to start planning. But why is planning about your retirement an important money lesson that you need to learn? Planning ahead ensures you have the time needed to build a sufficient nest egg, avoiding the stress of having to work indefinitely. Yes, retirement feels like light years away, but don't bank on social security or government hugs. You've got to look out for future you. Consider inflation because what buys you a fancy latte now might not cover future lattes. Picture this. You've lived a fantastic life, but uh-oh, retirement's knocking, and you realize you forgot to stash enough money. Don't let that happen. Start planning now. So wherever you are in your journey, take a moment to think about retirement. It's not about saying goodbye to fun. It is about protecting your future. If you are inclined towards entrepreneurship, learn about investments that generate passive income. Rental properties, for example, can provide a steady stream of money, ensuring financial stability in retirement. The knowledge is out there. Take small steps now to avoid future financial stress. Remember, the key is to start thinking about retirement at any stage of your journey. The information is out there waiting for you to grasp these essential tidbits. Don't wait until it's too late. Start learning, planning, and securing your financial future now. You can enjoy any audiobook for free by clicking on the link below the video. You can also find a list of suggested books and where to buy them below. So there you have it, 17 money lessons that no one ever taught you that will change the way you think about your finances and empower you to make sound financial decisions. Remember, the key to financial success is to take charge of your finances today. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always evaluate your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. 
If you liked our content, share our video, hit the subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.